Portions of the beach and boardwalk shut down. Neighbors evacuated after the explosion in Seaside Park this morning. TV 1055's Brian Connie Bear joins us live with the latest details on the investigation. Brian? Well, Jessica, some streets and parts of the beach and boardwalk are still shut down now, nearly 12 hours after this bomb exploded here. Take a look with me. The FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force is taking over this investigation. Right now, agents are here on Ocean Avenue, carefully going through evidence where that pipe bomb exploded just before a military charity run today. A quiet late summer morning at the Jersey Shore suddenly shattered by an explosion. It sounded like when you hear fireworks, that initial boom. I was packing and uh, I heard it and I yelled to my neighbor and said, what was that? It was three pipe bombs tied together that blew the bottom off this smoldering trash can along Ocean Avenue at D Street, right by the beach in Seaside Park at 9.30 a.m. That was just a half an hour after an annual charity 5K run raising money for U.S. Marines was supposed to start. The military runners and their families were apparently the target. Oh, absolutely. It's along the U.S. Marines charity run uh, location. Thankfully, no one was injured because the race was actually delayed by a huge crowd registering and by a suspicious backpack nearby, or runners might have been right next to that explosion. State police choppers and heavily armed law enforcement quickly moved in, including the FBI and ATF. The entire neighborhood was evacuated as bomb sniffing dogs checked every trash can. A bomb squad robot was brought in to disarm two of the three pipe bombs that did not actually explode. You can even see pieces of those bombs on the street near the explosion site. And everyone feared there could be more of them. Right now, there's nothing that would indicate that there's any additional devices. Residents are Counting their blessings, this bombing didn't turn deadly. Extremely lucky. Uh, I like to ride my bike down here, and I ride up and down this road, and I would have been right next to that as well. Well, back live as federal agents comb for evidence. Right now, investigators won't say if they have any suspects, and they are asking for the public's help finding whoever planted these pipe bombs. Reporting live in Seaside Park, New Jersey, Brian Connie Bear, TV 1055.